In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Illustrator to combine all of your fruit, veg, and leaf drawings into a single composition that you will then turn into a pattern. First of all, you need to go to File, New, and we have been going to Web and selecting the minimum, but this time let's select Web Large because we need a little bit more space. I'm going to call this Final Pattern and put my name on it and then click Create. I'm going to draw a dark colored rectangle in the corner. So let's get our swatches. Here's a nice dark color. I'm choosing a dark color because most of my vegetables are bright colors. Here's the rectangle tool and I will click one time to make the size box come up and I'd like the width to be 1000 pixels and the height to be 500 pixels and then click OK. With the move tool I'll put this down here in the corner and this is the area where I'm going to arrange all of my objects but now I need to go and open up all of my objects and drag them to the same document. I chose beat to open up first so I'll take the beat tab and click it and drag it to separate from the other tabs. Now before I drag the B over, I need to check and make sure that this is all of the objects are grouped together. Right now, they're not grouped together. So I can click on all these individual things and move them separately. I want to click on it and have all of them move together. So let me undo that. Control Z, Control Z. So it's very simple to group something. You just use the selection tool, which is the black arrow, to draw a box around everything. Then right click and select group. So now when I click and drag this, the whole thing moves together as one unit. So I'll click and drag this over to my other document until I get the plus sign and then I will let go. So once I get this over here, I will shrink it a little bit by holding down shift, which uh, prevents me from squashing it or stretching it. Use only the corners and I can shrink that down so it fits a little bit better. So now I'll open all of my fruits and veg and my leaves and drag them all over here. And I've actually done that on this one. Here we go. So now that I have everything open and in one document, and these are all grouped so that they're moved together as one unit instead of individual pieces, now what I'm going to do is take them and move them down here into this area and create my final composition. The first thing that I'll do is address the corners. I want something interesting happening in all four corners. So I'll start off with my favorites. I really like the pineapple. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink this and then hover the cursor around the corner so that I can rotate it. And I want to move it so that it's close to the edge but not quite touching. So I don't want giant gaps to show. That looks pretty good right there. I really liked this guy, the broccoli. So hold down shift, shrink it, turn it, put it in the corner. and. I also really liked this eggplant, so I'll shrink that and put it in this corner. And I will continue in this fashion until I get all of my objects on here and arranged. And I actually have already done that, so let me show you what that looks like. It's these guys right here. So after I played around with it for a while. This is what I came up with. So those are all of my main objects. Um, I didn't like the cherries so I left them out. Now I wanted to fill in some of these larger spaces with um, another object and I chose these guys right here. The cute little blueberries. So I grouped those together and made some copies and I put those in all of these large spaces. So far so good. Now I still have some large areas that I wanted to fill in 
than with these leaves and dot designs. And I did that right here. So I just moved them around, copied them, rotated them, made them different sizes until it filled the area really nicely. And that looks about right. Yeah, so that um, ended up being my final composition. All right, so once you get that far, then you have to convert it into a pattern. So I'm going to um, open up the layers panel and turn off the eyeball to hide the blue rectangle. Then I will use the black arrow, the selection tool, and I'll very carefully draw a box around everything to make sure that everything's selected, being careful not to get any of these extra things around the edge. Now I will go to Window, and I'm looking for Pattern Options. And once I get the pattern options open, I have to open this side menu and choose Make Pattern. And it says a new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. OK. And now I have some options here that are available to me. And the only thing that I'm going to do is name it. I'll call it Fruit and Veg. I'm going to call it Fruit and Veg 3 because I actually have quite a few of them. And then for the tile type, I will change it to Brick by Row. And then that's it. I will go up here to the top and click Done. Now, if I, let's say, choose an ellipse, and I'll draw an ellipse right here, and I'll go over here to the swatches panel and I'll click on my pattern and my pattern fills that ellipse. I can drag another ellipse down here, drag another ellipse right here, and as long as it's uh, this is clicked I can fill that shape with my pattern. So for your final um, snip please go ahead and make a shape and uh, fill it with the pattern and then use the snipping tool to make a screen capture and put it in your portfolio. That's it for now. Oh, and be sure to save your changes. Bye-bye.